on the internet there are uh, a few, quite a few, multivibrator circuits. They always consist of two transistors here and here. Here I've used a Darlington, but you can compare that to a transistor with an extremely high amplification factor. Two transistors from the um, collector, one cap to the base, and here from the collector, one cap back to the base from the other transistor. And that means in general that such a circuit starts to oscillate and more or less a square wave. That depends a little bit on how you made it, but okay. The square wave is more or less the principal waveform that enters out of this circuit. Here I made a Darlington with a, a 8 ohm loudspeaker and the whole circuit is here. 8 ohm loudspeaker, Darlington made with a BD139 and a BC547B and here perhaps that's visible also a BC547B. I have to tell that this is a very simple beeper but it's only used as a demo circuit uh, to show the problem from multivibrators that don't want to start and I want to give a remedy. The remedy is very simple and that is to raise the value from this resistor here and also from this resistor here. In this case this resistor is 100K. That's here, this one. But for demonstration purposes I've used here a potentiometer and I now want to try to demonstrate why or that this circus, circuit doesn't want to start. Here is the power supply. I stick it into the into the 230 volts and nothing happens. And though it's a very stable and good circuit, nothing happens. Also nothing on the scope. But when I tune that potentiometer here to a higher value, and that's the, the essential part that I wanted to show, tune that potentiometer, it starts. And also different frequencies. The frequencies, by the way, are given by this resistor here and that resistor here, 100K, and the value from these caps, this cap and this cap. So I've turned now the potentiometer somewhat and let's hear what happens now. So it starts. So this is the trick to catch to get such a very simple circuit into a functioning circuit. Raise the value here and or here. Uh, the resist resistor here is um, uh, 82 ohms and the reason is that I want to limit the current through the very very tiny speaker here that can only handle one watt. And this resistor here gets quite hot. It must be say a 5 watt resistor. And here on the scope you see the waveform and also uh, the DC that's constantly um, present on the output here. Because here we have a kind of DC flowing interrupted by the frequency. And 
uh, the reason is that the speaker is coupled into the collector emitter lead. You can vary somewhat with that resistor to get more volume out of the circuit. Uh, you can vary with the caps to get another frequency. You can vary with this potentiometer to get different frequencies, etc. etc. Uh, and also interesting to tell, this circuit is a small beeper, but you can also use it for higher frequencies, say 10 kHz or 20 kHz, when this cap and that cap have a very low value. Here you see that, end transistor, here is a, is a uh, uh, transformer, this is the uh, low impedance part, the high impedance part, and you can rectify the high frequency that you uh, send into the, this end transistor. And when you rectify it here, you can make a high voltage transformer. So I put out the circuit now. Uh, of course, when you need a real high voltage, you have to use a special high voltage transformer like they were used in old tube type television sets. But in that case, you can use this circuit, adapt the capacitors to get into the resonance frequency from that old TV uh, television transformer and that's approximately uh, 16 kilohertz. Also, when you do that, cool that transistor well. Or use a higher power transistor. But the whole circuit is very universal. The multivibrator circuit and can be used for all kinds of um, oscillator circuits, beepers, uh, high voltage transformers, etc. etc.